Hello everyone. Today we're going to review the common file types involved in BDC and BIM. One of the first things people often notice when they're starting out in BIM is that there's an awful lot of file types. Sometimes it can be a little confusing of which one you should use and what information they contain. We're going to review the ones that you're most likely to encounter. Starting out with Revit files. An RVT is the main file format used in Autodesk's Revit software. It contains all the information about the building models, such as geometry, parameters, and metadata. A Revit file is used when you're creating and managing a BIM model of a building project. It's used for collaborative design, documentation, visualization, and analysis of the building. When you're working with Revit software, this is typically the format that you're going to see. An RFA is a Revit family file. It's a file that contains information about individual building components, such as doors, windows, and furniture. It can be used to create custom building components and add them to a Revit project. It includes the geometry, parameters, and metadata of the component. This comes in handy when you have a custom component that you're going to use multiple times, such as furniture, a machine, or even details like arrows. An RTE is a Revit template file. It's used to create predefined settings such as title blocks, sheets, and views. You can customize it to be project specific, so you can save the configurations used across multiple projects. CAD files. A DWG is the most common CAD file you're going to run into. It's used in AutoCAD software, but it can be imported into Revit as a reference file or to provide a starting point for creating a Revit model. It includes 2D and 3D geometry annotations and metadata. A DWG differs from a DXF in that it's a little bit more compact, and it's often just used when dealing with AutoCAD or Revit software. While a DXF has the same information, but it's formatted for more various softwares. If you want to be more technical, a DWG encodes its information in binary, that's ones and zeros, while a DXF uses ASCII, which has more variation and transfers across to different platforms a little bit better. A DGN is from MicroStation. It's very similar to a DWG, only it's a little bit more for engineering. It still includes the 2D, 3D geometry, the text, the dimensions, and other related data, but it originates from MicroStation, and it's then used to incorporate into the CAD data. Navisworks files. These you'll see a lot. Navisworks is a software application used for project review, coordination, and collaboration. NWDs, NWCs, and NWFs are file formats used in Navisworks. So the easiest way to think about the differences between these two is an NWD is more like the whole package. It's going to have the model, the markups, the viewpoints. An NWC is just the model. So like say when you're doing design coordinations, they usually will upload an NWC because all you need is the model to be updated in your, in your merged model. You don't need all their extra viewpoints and information. But an NWF will have the Navisworks model plus related data. This is going to be used more if you're actually analyzing the model in Navisworks. When you're creating a file for someone else to view, an NWD is usually what you're going to make. Then there's cross-platform 3D files. These files are used so various programs can exchange information. An IFC is an Industry Foundation Classes file. It's the most common cross-platform file that you're going to encounter. It provides a standard data scheme for describing building elements and their relationships. It includes geometry, properties, and metadata that describe the building model. An SAT file is an ACIS SAT file. It achieves the same purpose, but is in a different file format and is less commonly used. An FBX is a Filmbox file. It's a file used for exchanging 3D data between different software applications. It includes 3D geometry, textures, materials, and animation data. This is typically used when you're going to transfer 3D data from one program to the next. An OBJ is an object file, and it serves a similar use, but is less common. Other 3D model files. An SKP, known as a SketchUp file, is derived from the SketchUp software. SketchUp files are popular and common because SketchUp is easy to manipulate 3D models and then import those into different programs. And RCS and RCP files are recap files. These are derived from the reality capture process. They often include laser, LiDAR, and drone scans. The difference between an RCS and an RCP is that the RCS is the point cloud file of the model itself. It's just the 3D data where an RCP is the whole project file that includes the RCS file and has other data. Data files. COBE stands for Construction Operations Building Information Exchange. COBE is a data exchange format used for exchanging facility information between different stakeholders in the construction industry. It includes information about the building components, equipment, and systems. 
An XML file is an extensible markup language file. XML is a markup language used for describing and exchanging data. An XML file includes structured data and metadata that describe the information. This file format is used to exchange data between different software applications. A GBXML is essentially the same thing, but for green building. It provides a standard data scheme for describing green building elements and their relationship. It can include geometry, properties, and metadata that describe the building model. This file format is used to exchange building information between different software applications that support the GBXML standard. This will usually be programs that calculate sustainability or energy usage. IFC XML and IFC ZIP. These are IFC data formats used for exchanging building information with different software that support the IFC standard. An IFC XML is simply the XML data from a model in an IFC format. An IFC ZIP is the same information, but more compact. An XER is a Primavera or P6 file. This is a scheduling file. These are typically used when creating 4D deliverables. And the last one we're going to cover today is STL files. STL files are stereo lithography files. They're used for 3D printing and rapid prototyping. They can be imported to Revit as a reference file or to provide a starting point for creating a Revit model. An STL file includes 3D geometry in a mesh format. And those are 25 of the most common file types you will find in BDC and BIM. I know this information can seem a little dry, but it's really good for giving you a holistic view of the different files you'll be dealing with. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Have a good one. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to learn more about BDC and BIM, then click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.